Hello there ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to welcome to Summer Does Gaming. Here I'm gonna do a really quick gameplay test video for you guys for Batman Arkham Knight on the PC platform. I got a request from one of my viewers to try and do this gameplay test video for the Radeon HD 6770 video card as that is the gaming card that I use on my PC. So yeah, got a request to do this test video to see how it performs on this particular card and to see what happens. Now, before we get into this game, just want to quickly say a few things before we get started. This particular game has got a lot of pro performance issues and problems with the game itself. So this does not mean that there's a problem with the video card. This game is basically broken. <clears throat> There's a lot of graphical issues, performance issues, FPS um, FPS rate issues as well, frame rate issues, um, bugs, glitches, everything. So just keep that in mind as you're watching this video. Um, don't think that it's due to the actual um, 6770 video card because it's not. It's not down to the card. It's the actual game. The game itself is buggy. Um, even though the game is buggy, let's just give it a go, see how it performs and see what we experience. Um, if you like what you see, if you find this video helpful and informative, please do subscribe to my channel, support me, give me a thumbs up, leave some comment, like, subscribe and um, yeah, give me some feedback and um, sit back and enjoy. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we want to do straight away is go into options and we're going to go to graphics options. Now here we are, this game itself doesn't have particularly that many um, options that we can fiddle around with. We are very limited. So the display mode is on set to full screen, resolution is set to 1440 by 900 as that is my full resolution of my monitor. V-Sync is turned off, hopefully that will give me an uh, improve on, my, on the performance. Anti-aliasing is turned on, just to give better, you know, increased quality a bit as well on the objects and characters. Alright, texture, resolution, shadow quality and level of detail, they're all set to low. This is basically what we're very interested in. Texture quality, uh, texture resolution has low and normal. Shadow quality has low, normal and high. Level of detail has low, normal and high. Alright, so we're going to start off with low, keep everything of lo on low. Um, this is all to do with NVIDIA specific settings as well, so enhanced rain and enhanced light shaft. So we're just going to leave that set to low. So these are the settings that we're going to play on. Alright, so let's go back. Back. And let's go into a new game and let's see what happens. Alright, so we are greeted with the intro cutscene of the game. This is the intro scene of the game. <laughs> it's getting about 45 to 50 odd FPS for the intro scenes, video scenes. So the cutscenes aren't too bad, it performs alright. Um, you get a decent amount of FPS. I mean, it's a video at the end of the day, so it's not a big deal. What we're more interested in is the actual in game play footage and gameplay of the video. Alright, so let's skip this. Alright, so there's more cutscene. Now you can already see there's already graphical issues happening already. The frame rates has dropped to about 22 FPS. The screen has kind of gone purpley. I'm not sure why. That is a glitch as well. There is graphical issues on this game. So yeah, um, we can barely see what's happening. Let's just continue on, let's see what happens, let's see how it goes. 15 FPS at the moment, so yeah, the FPS rate this is getting poor. Is how it happened. This is how the Batman died.
All right, so this looks like another cutscene as well. Nine months ago, Joker yep, was this is another cutscene. Press the button and burnt the Forty-five to fifty FPS on cutscenes. And then, I mean, don't get me wrong, the cutscene graphics do look nice. The, the graphics in the cutscene do come. look nice and high quality. But this is a video at the end of the day. It's just um, a video-based cutscene. It's not what we're interested in. Interested in, but the cutscene graphics do look good. There we go, you can see how it's already glitching out. It's starting to glitch out as well. FPS FPS has dropped to about 17 FPS now, 16 FPS. You can see a lot of graphical issues in this game. Lo lots of glitching. Okay, let's progress on and let's see what happens. Alright, so we can actually look around. So I'm guessing this is in-game in-game um, footage no now. Problem. This is in-game cut. Um, yeah, we're in-game currently. So we're sitting down at a ca cafe, and we can actually look around so, everywhere. What'll it be? The usual? Sure. Okay, chicken salad with no. So she is breakfast. taking no, you know my what? order. With a side of bacon. 18 Don't FPS at the me. moment, so it's not Whatever great. Say, it's not oh, great at all. Some more coffee, just shout. So as you, as I'm looking around, y y I don't know if you can tell, there is a bit of stuttering happening in the game because the FPS is very low, so there is a lot of stuttering. You can see there's graphical issues happening everywhere. There's glitches everywhere, graphically. There you go, see, as, as you, look at that. There you go. Everything just disappears. I don't know why, it just probably hey, the game. Dinner, officer, uh, More glitches. Owens. There's a guy smoking over there in the corner booth. <sighs> Wait here. I'll have a word. Alright, so we just got told that there's a guy smoking in the corner booth, so... I'm guessing I'm gonna have to go and investigate before I do that. Let's just look around this environment, in this cafe. Now, as you can see, uh, I'm moving around, the FPS rate is 15 to 17 FPS. It's really poor. There's graphical glitches happening everywhere around this cafe, in this environment. It's really poor. Performance is really bad. The game, um, as I try and look around, it, it stutters and freezes. As well. I don't know if you can, if you can pick it up in the video, but it does stutter and freeze up as well. It's not great. The performance is not great. If we try and walk around the cafe, you can see the environment. Um, the environment has problems. There you go. The game freezes up, slows down. Um, it doesn't look around, uh, I mean it's not smooth, that's the main thing I'm trying to show you, that the game play is not smooth, we're already within the game and it's not smooth, it's just a starting point, and we're already view it, seeing all these problems everywhere, let's see if we can get out of this cafe. I should talk to that customer who's smoking before I leave. Alright, so I can't leave without talking to the customer. Uh, yeah, so d there is a lot of problems with this game. If, I mean, if you look at the outside, the environment, uh, I mean, the graphics of the environment look good. So if we look inside the cafe, you can see that the graphics do look high quality, even though this is set to low. It's set to low, and the graphics itself, uh, itself still looks really nice. It still looks high quality. The textures is set to low, and it still looks like it's very good quality. But yeah, we got problems with this game. Can't really play this game that much. Um, if we open the door again, you can see um, the environment talk to that guy. looks really nice as corner. well. But we can't leave yet. Um, yeah, so that is the problem we've got going on with this game. So it's not great. Before we progress any further, let's try and change the settings. So let's go to graphics option again. We're going to set everything to normal. So here's texture resolution, we're going to put that to normal. Shadow quality, we're going to put that to normal. Level of detail, we're going to put this to normal as well. So everything is now set to normal. We're now going to hit apply. Alright, it's now applied. I don't know if you could tell, but um, the game kind of froze for a bit in order to apply the settings. So it's now applied to normal. So if we go back into graphics settings and let's just have a look. 
Yeah, everything now. Everything now is set to normal. Let's go back and back. So this is now normal options, normal graphical settings. Uh, you can see it's gone uh, it's pretty much worse now. Um, as you turn, try and look around, there's much more stutter happening. Don't know if you can at all pick any of this up in the video, but there is a lot of stutter happening. The game is really um, unsmooth and it doesn't perform well. It, it kind of freezes up and slows down. There you go, see it's freezing up. So as you try and look around, the game freezes up. So yeah, it's really poor. I mean, it's not bad. You can't do... You, you, there's no way you can play this game as, as, as it is. I should have a word with that guy who's smoking in the corner booth. So as you can see, trying to perform actions in the game, trying to perform actions within the environment, the game does perform very poorly. Um, it slows down and it freezes and it stutters. And we just got this very bad graphical glitches and bugs happening across the environment. So due to this, this game is unplayable at all. Um, there's no way you can play this game as it stands. And the FPS level is about, what, 13, 14? You, there's no way you can get a good gaming experience with about 13, 14 FPS. Look at that, everything's, everything's now disappeared. Nope, everything's back again. So yeah, it's very bad. You can't get a good gaming experience with about 13, 14, 15 FPS. To get a good gaming experience, you need at least 30 FPS. That is how you can get a good gaming experience. Um, yeah, so that was uh, a normal set, uh, normal options. Now if we go back to options again, graphics options. I believe we can change it a bit more further. Texture resolution you can't. Shadow quality you can set to high. Level of detail you can set to high. Okay, let's um, apply. And it's now applied. Um, yeah, so it froze up. It, and then it applied the settings. And now we're back again. Let's check. Oh, now you can even see the menu system is kind of slowing down as well. So normal high high. So the menu system, system is a bit lagging as well. Resume. Alright, so, oh, it's even a bit more worse now. Yep, it's freezing freezing up a lot more now. Look at that, look at that, here we go. Whoops, alright. 6, 5, 6, 4 FPS, 10 FPS. So the FPS level is gone crazy. It's jumping from 4, 5, 6, 10, 15. Um, alright, so high settings, is ev it makes the game even worse. It just freezes everything up entirely there's a lot of freezing happening the fps rate is just dropping and jumping left right and center it's really poor this game is really poorly optimized and there's no way you can play this game as it is there is no way you can play this game as it is so we're not going to progress further with this game um this was support this is just a really quick um Gameplay test just to show you how the game performs because I knew I pretty much knew this this game was going to perform really poorly with all the uh, problems this game has. With all the problems that this game has, I knew this game was going to perform really bad. Um, let's just change everything back to low. All right, so everything's now back to low. Alright, so everything now back to low. Um, yeah, so this this game is basically broken. That is all I can say. This game is broken. There is no way you can play this game as it is. So yeah, um, there's nothing more much. Um, there's nothing much more I can say. I'm not gonna take this gameplay any further, or this video any further, because we're just gonna get into many more problems as we progress further. Alright, so um, that is all I can do for you guys. For this particular video, this game has performance issues, graphical issues, bugs, FPS issues as well. So we can't really play this game as it stands. Um, so yeah, hopefully this game has been useful for you guys. Uh, hopefully you found it useful and informative. Uh, my recommendation to you at the moment as it stands, do not purchase this game. Don't buy it. Stay away from it until all the problems and everything is resolved. Um, according to the updates on um, the developers' websites and the Steam forums, Rocksteady and Warner Brothers are working constantly to get this, these issues resolved. They have um, 
released incremental updates. This particular game, as I'm showing you now, it has all the latest updates and patches, along with the latest um, graphics drivers as well. So even with the latest updates and patches, it still has problems, it still has issues. As far as I know, next month in October, Rocksteady and Warner Brothers are going to be releasing a major, major, major update that will hopefully resolve all the issues they said it's going to be a massive update a complete groundwork update uh, from the from the from scratch so hopefully this that will resolve all the issues that people are experiencing with this game on the pc platform for the low to uh, low to uh, medium mid to me, medium to high end um, graphics card um yeah Bearing in mind that uh, the 6770 card is a really good, strong, powerful card. Um, it is still got a few number of years to go with all the new games that are coming out. It will perform well. One good clear example is Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain, which I did a video on a few days ago. That is a next-gen game and um, it performs incredibly well even on high settings it performed flawlessly even it ran pretty well on very high settings so yeah um, if you haven't checked the video out check it out it shows how powerful the HD 6770 card is as long as the game itself is properly optimized and um, everything is created correctly and optimized correctly with a low to me medium mid medium to high end graphics card in mind then any games that are due to come out will perform very well um, with the MGS5 game um, the minimum card is not even the HD 67 6770 card is a bit more higher and it still performs well this particular game the minimum requirements for a video card for this one is um, the Radeon HD um, 7870 I believe which is 2 gigabyte of VRAM um, so yeah the, the minimum requirements is really crazy it's a crazy requirement for the card so if I can just tell you yeah it's the Radeon HD 7870 with 2 gigabyte of me, uh, video memory and the GeForce GT8 660 with 2 gigabyte of memory as well so that's the minimum requirements for this game and um, I'm running with the 6770 so but if this game was properly optimized it would be running without issues just like how Mega Solid 5 run without issues because that game is properly optimized and designed with PC gamers in mind this game, the Batman game, has been um, badly ported, badly optimized, and it just doesn't function correctly. It's just been um, designed for really high-end video cards. So if you're one of the lucky users that have a really high-end video card, it will most likely perform well for you. Other um, users with other graphics cards, stay away from this game. Don't buy it, don't purchase it until all the problems have been resolved. So yeah, um, until then, uh, hopefully this video has helped you and you found it informative and until then um, I will see you on the next video I will be doing various other um, gameplay test video as games do come out if you guys do have any other requests leave them in a comment somewhere and I'll try and um, do videos on those requests so yeah until I see you guys in the next video stay safe and happy gaming